Good afternoon. Jump up to the right leg. Yep. Town, a peaceful town. Since the U.S. military uh, occupied this area, they lost. So integrated training exercise uh, is where the entire Marine Air Ground Task Force kind of comes together and solidifies what uh, each individual unit uh, has been training for over the past 12 months or so uh, and solidifying the units before we go out to our respective deployments. So here now we have units from uh, the East Coast, uh, multiple units from the West Coast, uh, and a infantry battalion from Hawaii kind of all coming together uh, here in 29 Palms to put it together, give us the, um, the confidence before we go out and deploy. So ITX covers a, uh, a lot of live fire ranges, so we'll do platoon live fire attacks, company live fire attacks, uh, and then we really get the opportunity to focus on our urban operations 
uh, using some of the ranges that 29 Palms has to offer. Um, so Range 220 is a magnificent uh, urban facility uh, that we're able to take what we've trained uh, in our respective units, whether that be in Hawaii, Camp Pendleton, or Camp Lejeune, uh, and transition that as we utilize our supporting assets, whether that be uh, uh, amphibious assault vehicles uh, or air on station. So the integrated training exercise um, is kind of one of the one of the last events that we'll do in our workup uh, as we look to deploy on the 31st MU uh, in the South Pacific uh, and further operations uh, supporting uh, whatever the nation needs at that point. Um, the other units out here, uh, so the other infantry battalion, uh, 2nd Battalion, 3rd Marines, uh, they'll be going on a unit deployment program uh, to Okinawa, Japan. Uh, and same thing as us, this is towards the end of their workup as we get ready to get out the door uh, and go bring the Marine Corps uh, block. So the integrated training exercise, um, like I alluded to earlier, really brings together uh, all aspects of the Marine Air Ground Task Force and gives us the opportunity to all come together uh, in 29 Palms and use the facilities that they have here uh, so we can support some live fire ranges uh, through the support of uh, TTECG uh, and really conduct those live fire ranges as close to the real thing as possible. Uh, the urban facility um, at 29 Palms is referred to as Range 220. Uh, it's an immense uh, urban facility that allows us to train uh, tactics that we've learned and rehearsed in Camp Pendleton uh, and transition that out here um, on a bigger scale. Uh, so some of the things that we've been doing uh, is engineer integration, uh, so bringing those engineers in with the infantry platoons uh, and allowing them to operate together. Uh, yesterday we had the ability to work with uh, the amphibious assault vehicles, uh, bringing us into a platoon attack uh, on range 220 as well. So kind of bringing in the whole ITX picture, it allows us to operate uh, with our supporting assets and work things out that we might not have the opportunity to uh, if we were all staying back at our home bases. So over the past few days, it's been some hard training, some late nights. Uh, obviously, our preparation is where we win the fight. So um, as we came to the stations or the lane training that we've been doing, uh, preparing, uh, and the expectation really for the Marines uh, was just to give it their all, right? We take the fundamentals uh, that we've learned uh, since infantry training battalion uh, for some of the enlisted guys and infantry officer course for some of the officers um, and put those together, uh, forcing the enemy into a combined arms dilemma. Absolutely, I'm super proud of the Marines. Uh, from what I've seen across their battalion, 5th Marines, um, the Marines have been putting forth max effort uh, and really just displaying uh, the best that the nation has to offer. So as we get ready to get out the door, we don't know what uh, the next fight is. Uh, but we need to be prepared for anything that our nation's foes can bring to us.